Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. This is the Betty 3.1. What I've done here is I've optimized the timer board. Um, as well, I've gotten rid of the EEPROM memory option because I find that I've been finding that uh, the EEPROM internal EEPROM memory uh, to be a bit funky, especially in uh, humid weather. So what it does now is we have the same functionality as the Betty 3.0, but um, uh, there is a default code, so if you if you turn it on and you don't enter into program mode, the code is uh, 10, 10, 10, 9. And if you want to enter program mode, as soon as you power it on, you hold the S1 switch until it tells you enter program mode, at which point you enter in your own four-digit combination. Now, that four-digit combination will last only for the game. Once the power is, re is uh, disconnected or when the game is over, uh, that code is terminated and, uh, and you have to re either reprogram it or use the default code. So let me give you a quick demonstration. I'm not, uh, the listing has all of the information uh, for this unit. Uh, the Betty 3.0 video has all of the functionality uh, in it and I will link that video specifically to the, uh, to the listing. But I'll power it up and we'll go through the steps. Now you saw how the uh, access LED blinked. That means that we're using the preset code because we didn't enter into program mode. So our code is 10, 10, 10, 9. Uh, so it said program wire. Now you'll see a whole bunch of jumbles of wires here. Uh, most of them are going to the, some of them are going to the clock unit, but there are four wires here. Uh, f from left to right is your uh, or is wire one to four. So I can program wire if I want wire one. I hold this down till the access LED blinks once. Uh, if I keep holding it, it'll blink twice. At which point I let go, it'll be wire two. Will be the deactivation wire. If I keep holding it down and the LED blinks three times and I let go, it will be uh, wire three. And once if I keep holding it down, it'll blink four times. That'll be wire four. So I'm going to choose wire two. Wire one. Wire two. It blinked twice there. Once it's in the blink sequence, you can let go. So I've selected wire two. And in this case, wire two is actually my yellow wire. Now, I'm actually not going to go through the wire cut mode uh, right now. Uh, I'm going to tell you to program the clock. So in order to increment each unit, you tap the switch here. So I'll just... Three seconds. Now, if I want to go into the next digit, I hold the button down. Let go. Now I can increment this one. Uh, I can go to 59 seconds, cause this, so these are your seconds, these are your minutes. You can go to 99 minutes and 59 seconds or anywhere in between. So I'll hold it again, and let's do 33 minutes and 33 seconds. Now I press that button again, and it starts counting down. Now I've got a little jumper here that enables the vibration switch. So if I start shaking the unit, that's going to start counting down three times as fast. As well, if I enter in the wrong combination, it'll start enter going down three times as fast. If I, put if I pick the wrong wire, it'll start going th down three times as fast. If I, connect if I cut the right wire, the unit will be deactivated. Uh, if I put in the right combination, the unit will be activated. But again, if I shake this, that little vibration sensor right there will start will make it start counting down uh, ten times as fast. Anyhow, I've set my clock, so I'll press the uh, S1 button again. System ready. Enter combination. System ready. Enter combination. So at this point, uh, I can enter in ten, 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 nine to deactivate the unit. Uh, if the timer runs out, my siren will go off for a minimum of five seconds. At which point, I can deactivate the siren. Uh, it's very loud. You need a power supply of 9 volts to 12 volts DC for this to work properly. Now, this new Betty unit also is optimized for power. When it's just running in this mode, it's only taking 15 milliamps at 9.6 volts. So, what what should I do? Maybe I'll just shake shake the uh, the the header here. Uh oh, 10 times as fast. So, at this point, cutting a wire the wrong wire won't won't matter. Uh, or cutting the right wire. The only way to deactivate it now is to put in the right combination. Now if I put in the wrong combination, Incorrect combination. Enter combination. So I'll enter in the wrong combination again. Incorrect combination. Enter combination. 
So I've got, as you can see, it's going down really, really fast. I've only got a few seconds to deactivate the system. I'm going to actually deactivate the system this time. 10, 10, 10, 9. System I'm going to hold down S9 here. Now, when you uh, when your system resets or when you power it on, and it says Betsy, if you're holding down the S9 button, you can enter in your own combination. So let's do uh, one 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 eight. Now, when you're programming it, you want to make sure you hold the button until the and uh, uh, indicate LED blinks, the red one. So uh, one 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 eight. Code program, program wire. So ten, or sorry, one 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 eight. Let's remember that. Uh, program wire four this time. If I let go now, wire one. If I let go now, wire two. If I let go now, wire three. And if I let go now, wire four. Count to four. So that'll be my deactivation wire. Ready, clock. So ready, my clock. Let's do ten minutes. Now press S1 again, which is our, which is basically our select button. System ready. Enter combination. So, uh, one one one. Let's do one 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 seven. Incorrect combination. Enter combination. Okay, let's do one 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 eight. Now something to note: if you program zero 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 and you uh, you uh, act you 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 start your clock and there's nothing there's no time there. As soon as that timer runs out from zero, you've got. I mean, as soon as you basically act to turn the clock on, it will be zero 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 and the siren will go off. Now we're going to let the siren go off this time. Uh, now it resets, so now we've got we didn't enter back into program mode. So ten 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 nine is our, our new uh, code. So program wire wire one. This time I'm going to pull wire one, or cut wire one. It does, the Betty does come with more wire, uh, so you, you can cut it if you want, or you can just pull it. They're in female sockets. So I put wire one. We'll ready our clock for ten minutes. Start. I'll start the countdown. Now, just to be sure. I made a mistake. The orange wire is our wire one. System deactivated. Program wire. Now, just so I don't have to w waste a wire, another wire, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop the video, strip those, and uh, twist them back together just to save some time. This time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the wrong wire, and I'm going to let the siren go off because, the, of course, the timer will speed up and elapse, and when it reaches zero, the siren will go off. The red LED will go on for about five seconds, meaning that the siren will stay on no matter what you do unless you disengage power for five seconds, at which point the LED will go out, and you can deactivate it by pressing S1. So let's do that. Ready, so again, our code is uh, 10, 10, 10, 9, because we didn't enter program mode. So I'll ready my clock. I'll put it in for one minute. So I'm going to pull wire 4. Now the siren. So as you can see, as soon as it says Betty, if you hold down S1, you can enter program mode. I'll just, again, one more time. So I programmed it as 1115. Uh, I'm going to make sure that my wire is plugged back in. Again, if you don't plug your wire back in before you enter in which wire, as soon as you start running your program, it's going to have some, you're, you're going to start elapsing 10 times as fast. So after every game, make sure all your wires are populated. Uh, back to, let's just do 10 minutes.
And there we go. Ready, clock. Oops, I'm sorry, I just chose wire one there. I was one step ahead of myself. Ready my clock. Ready. Enter so really, in gameplay, the uh, the Betty will just sit like this. You can you mount it into your own box. Um, the main header board has one, two, three, four uh, holes for mounting. There are wires protruding from the back that are mounted to a header on the back. So you can mount this to the top of your box. Uh, the Betty itself has one, two, three, four, five mounting holes. The Siren has two mounting holes, as you can see, and it's also got a double-sided tape on the back. So you can peel that strip off and just stick it to something. That's up to you. It does require, as I said, 9 to 12 volts DC steady. Uh, if you go below uh, about 8.5 volts, the siren won't work, work right. If you have 12 volts, the siren will be extra loud, but as you just heard, and really I don't even know how well uh, how well the siren is showing its capabilities through the camera. It's so loud that it really hurts your ear at this proximity, and I'm less than two feet away from the siren right now. So, what was our combination? One, 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 five, I think. System deactivated. So there you go. 13. And we didn't go into program mode. Our combination is 10, 10, 10, 9. Hopefully that's a good demonstration. If you want to disable the uh, vibration option, all you have to do is remove this jumper right here. The jumper is labeled VIB for vibrator. Uh, that is your vibration sensor. Don't jiggle it when it's an operation and countdown or else uh, it will start counting down 10 times as fast. Um, but again, you have the option of disabling the vibration option. So thanks for watching. I'll be putting this up soon uh, and uh, I'll be placing the link below. Take care everyone and have a great day.